Hey guys, so today I have a couple of battery packs for charging your electronics, such as iPads, iPhones, and Android phones, and basically any other tablet or device that you might have. Um, these two devices are completely different from two different companies, and they have two very different designs. Um, so let's go ahead and open these up and see what they look like. So these just came in direct from Amazon today. Found these in my mailbox. So first impressions, um, this packaging is not, um, you know, anything fancy, anything special there. And this looks like it's our solar, solar powered battery pack. So, first impressions on this guy. <laughs> he is a bit thick. Um, and I apologize in advance for my dirty hands. I was out gardening and mulching today with black mulch. Um, we do have a flashlight on here. And the solar pack, um, which actually is supposedly pretty decent at efficiency, but due to the milliamps of this, I believe this is a... 16,750 milliamp and the solar panel only does 1.8 watts of input so as you can imagine that would take a very very long time to charge so some people were saying um, up to 72 hours so a few days of sun uh, would be required to bring this up to full charge so again it's not meant to be used um, as a solar um, charger for your phones and devices unless you are in an emergency situation so on a daily basis you would want to go ahead and plug it in to what i imagine is right in here you have your two usb ports um with it being blue you would almost assume it's usb 3.0 but i highly doubt it um, a lot of these are using a little bit of antiquated technology um, especially since you see that it's a USB micro um, for the charging port, which is pretty sad. Um, there's only two USB ports on here and a USB micro for charging. I mean, it's a very common cable, but you would think that by now they would start doing devices that are USB Type-C for charging. So um, hopefully we'll have a little bit better on the other one. So it is pretty thick, um, but in comparison to, say, an iPhone 6, right next to it um, you can tell you know it's it's about three iPhones thick I would say two and a half to three iPhones thick so it's not too bad it definitely fits in your hand um, it's kind of almost like holding a large walkie-talkie or something like that so it's not too bad and uh, it does come with a little carabiner so you could stick this on your book bag. I'm not sure I would trust this. It feels very, very cheap. Something that costs like 10 cents. Um, it comes with a user manual, which explains some of the stuff, how to use it. Um, I believe for the light, yep, there we go. So for the light, you just press the light button. It's fairly bright, not quite blindingly bright, but enough to be able to see out. And it has a couple of different modes. So I believe that's the SOS. Press it again, it's a strobe, just to get someone's attention. And then off. Um, and then the power button, I believe, just gives you a, a little bit of an indicator of the charge of your battery. So I'm assuming the four is for charge, and possibly that turns red or something uh, when it's dying. So there's that one. Um, let's just see what else came with this little... Uh, user manual probably or some sort of warranty guide uh, multiple languages and looks like just a little usb charging cord so nothing fancy um but definitely something that would be a great um type of device if you were to go out say you know hiking or something like that you want to bring this with you to give you a couple charges and then if you get lost um or you're out in the wilderness etc you can always put it out in the sun or even probably a cloudy day due to the efficiency. Eventually your devices would charge. Um, I would give this time to charge first, then charge your device to be able to make an emergency phone call or something along those lines. Anyway, let's set this aside and pop open our next one. 
so <laughs> judging by the size already I can see this is definitely a different beast um, this should be a almost 10,000 milliamps more I believe thought I was buying a 2600 one nope looks like 24,800 milliamp capacity power bank and this feels silky smooth very thin they definitely went for a different approach on this design um, it's very thin very silky smooth um, feels almost like something an Apple device would feel like you know it almost feels like you're holding a massive iPhone or something like an iPhone 8 <laughs> but very heavy still um, so on the side you have again your little power LED indicator lights we're at 50% battery just like the other one um, we have a uh, lightning in a USB type C in USB out USB out quick charge out so I'm kind of wondering if USB type C it says it's putting in um, so that's kind of interesting if we can charge maybe through that port as well that would be that would be quite interesting if we could do that um, but the cable it comes with well actually there's probably the charging port again micro USB kind of letting us down there um, just again for comparison purposes put an iPhone next to this you can see it's very very thin maybe an iPhone and a half thick almost two iPhones thick so not too bad um, and then we have the USB micro for charging Feels like a decent quality cable, and looks like we have a USB lightning to a USB Type-C adapter. Um, I'm assuming that's for this if you want to plug in two iPhones, um, although they do take these, but I guess if you have a lightning mill lightning port. No instructions looks like come with this one. Yeah, there's no other instructions, and uh, looks like a business card. I guess it's a thank you for being a customer. Your opinion, uh, rate them. Well, that doesn't instill much confidence. <laughs> um, looks like it's just somebody's personal email at gmail.com. That is quite interesting. And probably a cell phone. We'll have to give them a call and just uh, find out who they are and what they do to possibly throw them in the video, maybe. We'll see how, go we'll see how that goes. Anyway, let's give these bad boys a charge and see how they actually perform, how many charges we get out of them, how long it takes to charge. Maybe we will kill this completely and give it a charge directly from the sun. Um, but again, you see them compared side by side. They're definitely quite larger. Looks like an iPhone and a charger thick to get it up to the same. So not too bad. Um, of a device. I'm really excited to be using this. The main reason we did purchase these is my Android <laughs> Nexus 6P just keeps on dying so fast after the latest updates. And this would really, really come in handy just for the whole, you know, hey, it's got a solar panel if anything ever happens. I got this in my backpack. We can always pull it out in case of emergency and still be able to make phone calls. Unless, of course, you know, the Wi-Fi towers are down or whatever. Wireless towers. Okay, well, there's that, guys. Um, so, we again, we have uh, 16,750 milliamp uh, versus a 24,800 amp. And, um, yeah, they're, um, they're fairly different devices, probably for different clients. But definitely still both some, some type of item that could still fit in your laptop bag or in your book bag. Um, maybe even in your purse, you know, I, I, w I would assume this something like that would, you know, easily just slide in and out without any issues and without adding too much weight. This one is definitely lighter because of the amount of batteries required for these. Um, but this is supposed to charge an iPad twice completely. And this one here would probably take you one and a half times. So, all right, guys, we'll take care. Thank you for watching this video of this unboxing. Sorry for the shakiness. Um, just wanted to do a quick video of this uh, battery pack because I will be taking pictures and everything else for the website and um, wanted to get these out for you guys to take a look before I do all of that. 
and lose all the parts that came with it. Well, take care. Thanks for watching. Once again, apologies for the dirty hands on these. I had to do some gardening right before this, and um, yeah, so life happens. Take care, guys, and have a wonderful day.